What it means to be a human is to be a human fertilizer. Uh, a human fertilizer? See. Basically, you are a big, huge fertilizer. After you die, you go into the earth and you fertilize the earth. Me, for me to be human is to live a very good life. That's what we're all supposed to do. Live a decent life. Don't be an asshole to people. That's my answer. What's that? That's my answer. Cool. Thanks. No problem. What does it mean to be human? To be yourself. To be whoever you say you are. Yeah, that's about it. Who, who is Angel? Me. <laughs> I'm just a person that's going to Delaware County and trying to get an education and life. Alright. What? Maybe I'll ask this. Why is this question so difficult? Because, because I, nobody knows the meaning of life. The I, meaning I, of life would be the meaning of humanity. Yeah, I feel like people just go around existing and they really don't sit. I guess if you don't sit and actually ponder that thought, you don't ever really sit and think about, oh, what does it mean to be human? But no one really has time to sit down and ponder that thought because that's going to take like four hours to straight think about. <laughs> Unless you're Aristotle. And yeah, or something like that. <laughs> and that took him years, so it would take like years for you to really figure out. So you guys have never spent four hours doing one thing? I totally have. I have. But, but it wasn't thinking about no. being human. I mean, I've had some deep thought moments, but I, some of them, are, they're dark, so I have to get out of them. Like, oh, yeah. I can, if you think about death and you really get into that, that that's too deep and that freaks me out. To feel, to experience emotion and uh, to learn from it, I think that's what it means. So, so kind of what makes us distinctive is that we can actually emote, yeah. like that's what you're saying. What it means to be human is to take a shower, breathe, live, <laughs> do anything as a normal human would do. Alright, to be human it means to that's my answer for right now. Don't but, know. Rest of the answer. <laughs> but everything reproduces, right? Yeah. I don't so know. what makes humans distinct in their reproduction from anything else? <laughs> Remember we're all friends. I mean, right. you have knowledge that you're yourself, a single life. I'm saying it's like, Just like, like yourself. Point, you want to donate. No, but that's really how I feel about what does it mean to be human. You have knowledge, well, you have a conscience, and yeah, so thank you, my daughter. <laughs> yeah, well, that's fine. What it means to be human is to love. And oh, yeah? be loved. Show love, feel love, see love. If you don't have love, what are you? I don't know. I don't know. I just can't think of being human and not loving someone and being loved by someone, I just, just love love. Do you feel loved right now? I do feel loved. I feel loved every day. I have God. Oh yeah? I'm here. So I'm loved every day. Every second I am. There you go. Thank you, Do you, do you feel loving today? <laughs> I'm always loving. I love everybody even though, you know, some people don't want to be loved or don't think they deserve to be loved. But I love them anyway. <laughs> That's great. Whether they like it or not. <laughs> Thanks, Whitney. Thanks. I think it's to be a hairless ape that can talk, but um, what it is to be human defined by other humans, what, kind, caring, sweet, blah, 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 not often people left and right, even though that's also human nature, I believe, war and whatnot. We solve food by you know, shipping it wherever we need it. We solve space by building up and down rather than just left and right. So, war and things is, you know, hate between... Mindless hate really is what keeps us in check, so to speak. I think that's a big aspect of what it means to be human. Like, it's to look deep inside your soul and figure out your destiny more so. And that's when you figure out, like, who you are mm -hmm. as a person. And when you find what you're supposed to do in this world, it's like, that's when you find out what it means to be human. I feel like what it means to be human is figure out how we connect to each other. Everyone, I feel like, when trying to find your humanity, you're on a journey, like, forever. You're never gonna really figure out your humanity and full purpose. What distinguishes us is being in the image of God. Yeah. Um, like given a scenario um, that my house is burning down um, and my dog was inside and my child was inside, um, it doesn't seem that I would be justified in saving my dog instead of saving my child. And I think that sticks with us because of who God has made us to be, to value 
each other because we reflect him in unique and distinct ways. This is Jean. If you're watching this video, it's probably because we already have a relationship with one another and because you're somewhat interested in what's going on here in our little neck of the woods in Pennsylvania. One of the things that I often hear from students is that they just don't have the opportunity or the space to talk about subjects like this, of what it means to be human or of what the purpose of life is, what the meaning of life is. Are we alone in the universe? This is a great opportunity to engage with students and topics that they actually care about. One of the first guys that you heard from was Millard. Millard is not a believer. He's not a follower of Christ. He comes from one of the poorest areas in the nation, a place called Chester, a veritable food desert. And his heart is to go back to Chester and to revitalize the city because he loves the people there. And that's an amazing thing. When I go to spend time with these college students, a lot of what I'm trying to do is to push them a little bit further. I think for some of us, we need a breaking point in our lives. But for others of us, we just need to grasp a little bit beyond what we're used to, to see that Jesus Christ is real and that God has actually called us into a sort of relationship with his people and with his world uh, that that's different than what we would expect. The opportunity that we have with college students here is to actually enter into deep conversations, conversations about life and spirituality that they wouldn't normally have, to expose them with the reality of who Jesus Christ is as the king of the universe who has become flesh, fleshy like us, and who has died for us. And not only that, but has been raised again. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video.